Hey everybody, hopefully you're going to be able to see this okay. So I'm sitting here at some soccer fields and I was thinking, you know what would be good would be to show you how to edit your GPS locations or your saved waypoints from your Garmin Instinct watch. But instead of doing it on the watch, doing it with the Garmin Explore app. So I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar Watch. This doesn't matter if you've got the solar version or if you've got one of the non-solar versions. This video should help you no matter uh, what model watch you've got, as long as it's a Garmin Instinct. Uh, the other thing I'll mention is I'm using the Instinct as delivered from Garmin. I haven't made any adjustments to any of the hotkeys. So uh, if you've got a Garmin Instinct watch, I'm sure you've saved a GPS location before. In the upper right hand corner, if you press and hold this button, it's going to acquire your GPS satellites. This is going to be the standard way just to go in and save your GPS location. I'm sitting here at some soccer fields. I'm going to save my location. Now normally it'll take a couple seconds to tell you that your GPS is connected. You'll see it says press to save. It shows my GPS coordinates. I can press and save it and now that location is saved. Notice the date. The default is the day, the month, the time and that's going to be your saved location. But you'll also notice at the bottom it says edit. So if I press the down button I can go into that location and I can edit the location. For example, I can press here and I can rename the location. And that's fine and it's kind of cool that you can do it on the watch. But to me, this is a complicated way to have to rename that location. So what we're going to do is I'm going to press the back button and go all the way back to the screen. At this point, all I did is save my location. And I'm going to show you how to edit it using the Garmin Explore app on your cell phone versus using your Garmin Instinct watch. All right, I hope you're going to be able to see this okay. So all we've done so far is yesterday we saved the location on our Garmin Instinct watch. And instead of doing any kind of edits on the watch, we are going to use our cell phone to do the edits using the Garmin Explore app. So uh, if you notice, I'm using an Apple phone. It, this shouldn't matter if you're using Apple or Android. The app is available from Garmin and it is free. Let me see if I can. It's this right here, Explore. And it's really a pretty simple app to use. All I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it to open it. And you have to have your device synced up. So I'm going to click on devices and you can see over here on the side it's spinning. You can also see down here at the bottom that it's syncing all of my locations and it says sync finished. So the way this app works is basically if you've got a Bluetooth enabled device and you've got a smartphone, you can uh, essentially open this app and what it'll do is it'll sync all of your information from your uh, watch to the app. So uh, we can go look at the library and we can click on waypoints and you'll see that the top waypoint is the one that we saved yesterday. Again, the date matches up with what was saved on my watch, November 12th, 6.33 p.m. And what I can do is I can click on it on this app on my smartphone and I can see all of the information about that waypoint. I can see a map that I can actually click on and zoom in and zoom back. Uh, I can also see the GPS coordinates, I can see when it was created, I can see the distance, the bearing, I can edit notes on it, and then the other thing I can do is I can click up here and I can rename it. So soccer fields and click done. And now I've renamed the uh, location using my smartphone instead of my uh, watch. And to me, it's just a lot easier to do it than using the watch to do it. If you're in a bind and you, and you want to do it with the watch, that's great. But you'll notice, uh, here it is down here. The other thing that's nice about it is whenever you edit it and you sync it, it's going to write that information back to your watch. So I've renamed it Soccer Fields using the Garmin Explore app. When I go on my watch and I search my safe locations, I'll see soccer fields on my watch as well. It basically writes the information back and forth. It's just nice to have that information uh, accessible on your cell phone in case you're uh, out in the, in the field and you want to navigate to that or if you want to see your locations, you can see them and you can navigate to them on your cell phone as well as your watch. So anyway, it's just a quick video to walk you through how to use the Garmin Explore app to edit and see your saved waypoints and locations. If you got any questions, let me know. I hope this helps. Thanks.